Hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to the Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a twist of fire flow. So twisting is great for your body. It is really good to help wake up your digestive system, uh, your metabolism, get your detox organs working. So it is definitely something that we want to do if we are working on um, a weight goal, weight loss, weight maintenance, weight gain, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's really good to keep that whole system working in a healthy way. Um, it's also going to be a lot of fun, so we're going to add kind of a fire element to these twists with our Mula Bunda breath as well as some quick movement. So that's kind of where that fire and fun piece is going to come in. To start, we will get that Mula Bunda breath going. So we'll begin in a seated position here, uh, seated butterfly. So just put the bottom of your feet together. They can kind of open uh, almost like a book. You don't need to worry about pressing them together and twerking your knees. So letting your feet rest open, let your knees fall gently towards the earth. Don't press them down, anything like that. We're letting gravity do the work for us here to start opening our legs. Um, you can definitely put a blanket, pillow, block, uh, anything like that if you want a little bit more support under your knees. And then from here, ground your sits bones into the earth. Wave your spine up tall, extending through the crown of your head. We'll begin with our Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling here. Filling up the entire low belly. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Exhaling through your nose. Inhale here. Think about feeling your whole kind of lower base of your body, almost like you have a bowl here between your legs. So you're filling with your breath. When you exhale, you're squeezing it all out. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale. This inhale, exhale that we're doing is really going to help um, pump all of our oxygen through our body, going through our whole deep core line. So we're starting to activate all of our deep core muscles while we are doing this already. And we'll add some movement to this. So as you inhale, extend, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands come to uh, center in your novice imager. We're going to twist. Starting our twists already to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale up. And you can take these twists at your own pace, really uh, using the breath to kind of feed this movement. So inhaling and then exhaling as you twist. It's really squeezing all of the air in and out as you're twisting. We'll do a few more on each side. And last one, each side. Inhale, reach up. This time as you exhale, bring knees together so feet are planted firmly on the ground have a little bit of distance between your feet so they're in line with your hips. You'll inhale, reach forward. This time as we exhale, you're going to lean back a little bit, keep your spine long so you're really lifting up from the ground and that you can twist and keep your hands at heart center or if you want, you can open your arms. Inhale up, exhale. Again, you can twist with your hands in that Namaste Mudra or extend. And again, taking this at whatever pace is most comfortable for you. And I'll turn to face the side so you can see a little bit better too, really grounding into the earth with your sits bones, reaching up tall, exhale. As you're leaning back, twisting, but maintaining that length in your spine. We don't wanna slouch around that hurt our low back. So really long spine, all of this movement coming from our core, especially our obliques and side body. Last couple on each side. And the last one, this time reach up and exhale. Just uh, grab onto your knees. We'll do a little cat-cow stretch. Kind of work the uh, muscles that we, or I guess stretch out all the muscles that we just worked. And from here, making your way into a down dog pose. So 
Start by firmly planting your fingertips into the earth. You really want strong fingertips, strong palms as you press yourself back into your down dog position. You can pedal out your feet here, starting to warm up the backs of your legs. And think about keeping that mula bundle breath going through the entire practice. So inhale and exhale. And let your heels just kind of make their way naturally towards the earth. Feet are about hip bone distance apart. Think about a tiny wave in your spine. Exhale. Settles you into the pose as you create space in your neck and head. Or for your neck and head. Then here we'll do some twisting in our dog pose. So twisted dog, so knees come to the right. So feet are, again, still about hip bone distance apart. You don't want to have your feet together when you're doing this. But knees are going to the right, really stretching out your back, right side body. Back to center, exhale, twist to the left. Back to center, twist to the right. Back to center, twist to the left again. You can even take it up a notch and go back and forth with a quick breath each side. You can use movement in your arms too to create that space. Or you can continue to hold it like we were doing if you want a little bit more of a stretch. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna come back to that center position, pedaling at your feet again. Settle into your down dog for a moment. And inhale, bending your uh, arms and legs. You're gonna wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto hands and knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself in and up. And exhale, back to down dog. Very nice, we're gonna take those twists in a standing flow sequence here. So slight bend in your knees and elbows, lift the right leg to the sky, exhale. Coming through core plank, really lifting that right knee in and up, stepping it forward to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bend your back knee as you roll yourself in and up, coming to your high lunge position. And from here, you're going to inhale, exhale, hands come through heart center, and I'm going to stay again. And you're going to twist to the right. Now from here, you can stay in that namaste position or Extend your arms open to the sky, or open to the side of the wall, I should say. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. There's a lot of movement in this one. You can even reach your front leg long, get a bit more of a stretch, and then come back into the twist. Don't worry if you lose your balance a little bit. We are definitely challenging our balance here with this movement. Last one, no matter where you are, extend your arms, open arm twist. Right arm drops to the back leg, extend your left arm over your face for reverse warrior here. And exhale, curl your hands back to the earth, strong palms and fingertips, and step yourself back to down dog, pedal up your feet again. From here, slight bend in your knees and elbows, left leg lifts this time, exhale, knee comes to chest, and you lift that uh, knee into your chest as you step it forward, left foot meets left thumb, extend your spine long, bending your right knee, lifting into your high lunge. From here, inhale, exhale, hands come to heart center again, twisting over the left leg. Again, from here you can stay in your namaste position or open arm twist for a little bit more of a challenge. Inhale up, exhale. Really thinking about keeping your feet firmly on the ground, hips are square. This twist is coming from our obliques and higher. And you can extend your front leg if that feels good to you as well. And the last one, open arm twist here, 
drop your left arm this time. Right arm reaches above you, coming into reverse warrior. And exhale. Curl your hands back to the earth. Step it back to down dog. Pedal out your feet, and this time, big bend in knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward. Come onto your knees, lower in through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rolling in and up. And back to down dog. Very nice. We'll take it a little bit deeper this time. So inhaling, prepare here. Right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to chest. Step your foot forward to core plank or to uh, your low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, rolling in and up to your high lunge. Inhale. This time as you exhale, hands stay in heart center and just tap the top of your right leg with your left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale. Make sure to maintain a long spine while you're doing this. Again, you can stretch your front leg if that feels good to you. Last time here. This time holding it. Wave your spine long. Hold this twist for a few breaths. One more breath here, holding this twist, and then drop your left hand underneath your left shoulder, right arm extends to the sky, we'll do some quick circles. So circling your arm back, sending everything towards the earth, and then extend, coming to that first edge of stretch, stretching out that right leg that we've worked. And last one here, extending tall, even uh, rotate your palm and wrap your hand around you if that feels good to stretch out your shoulder. One more breath in this revolved pose here. And then exhale. Strong fingertips and palms bending your right knee. Step yourself back to down dog. Pedal out your feet again. And notice the difference between your two legs. Thank goodness we have another side, right? So inhaling here, left leg lifts to the sky, exhale, knee comes into chest, really lift in and up as you step your left foot to left thumb, inhale here, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to high lunge, exhale, hands come to heart center in your namaste mudra, and exhale, just tap right elbow to top of left leg, inhale up, exhale, Getting a lot of movement while we're doing these twists. Remembering that Mula Bunda breath. You can extend your front leg if that feels good. Woo, challenging our balance with this as well. Last one here. Holding your twist, really extending long through the crown of your head, long spine. Make sure that your hips are Staying square to the earth, you want them stubbornly facing the earth, you don't want them tweaking and starting to twist. Obviously we are doing twist, but we want the twist to come from your core and not from our hips getting out of alignment. And last breath there, right arm reaches to the earth below right shoulder, left arm extends to the sky, we'll do that circling again, circling down, and coming to that first edge of stretch as you extend your arm to the sky and the right or the left leg straighter. Circle down one last time as you come to the top. We'll stay here holding it for a couple of breaths. Again, you can rotate your palm behind you. Get a deeper stretch in your shoulder. And again, here squaring your hips off to the earth. You don't want to tweak your hips. That happens sometimes trying to get a deeper stretch, but really what you're doing is just twerking your alignment. So, Hips are staying square to the earth. Twist is coming from your obliques. One more inhale and exhale here. Then cartwheel your hands back to the earth. Strong palms, left knee lifts into the chest and steps back to down dog. From here, bend your knees and elbows. Deep bend as you wave your spine forward, coming to high plank. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself in and up. 
and exhale, lifting back to down dog. Now really deep bend in your knees here. You're going to start walking yourself back to a forward fold. So start with really deep bend in these, folding over your legs. And then from here you can start extending your legs to find that first edge of stretch. Even wave back and forth if that feels good. We'll take one last twisting flow here. So bend your knees really deep. Plant firmly into the earth with your heels, the balls of your toes. So underneath big toe and little toes, you have trinity on each foot, firmly grounding into the earth. Bend your knees really deep. Sit back into your sits bones. We're going to roll up into a chair. So inhaling here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself up. So we're staying in that chair pose. Sit bones are going way back. Arms reach out in front of you. You want to make sure that your knees aren't going over your toes and causing strain. You want to be sitting back into your hips so you can see your toes. Extend your spine long here. We'll do some twists of fire. So hands to heart center and namaste and twist. Left elbow to right leg. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Take it out your pace that you'd like to go today. Get nice and fiery. I'm sure your legs are burning a little bit here too with this last motion. Making sure that this movement is controlled, that you're staying back in your hips, not coming too far forward. Last one, each side. Inhale, reach up. Hold chair for just a moment and exhale. Deep, deep bend in your knees. Come to that first edge of stretch. Waving your spine long over your legs. From here, firmly plant left palm under left shoulder again, slight bend in the left knee, right leg extends straighter for you, right arm extends to the sky, getting another deeper stretch in our hips, back of the leg, and again you can rotate your palm behind you and half bind your arm if that felt good. Keeping that mula bandha breath going, even in these stretches. Exhale, back to your forward fold. And right knee bends this time. Right hand is planted beneath right shoulder. Left leg comes straighter for you. Left arm extends to the sky. And then again, if you want, you can rotate your palm. Keep that half bind stretch. Remembering to maintain that length in your spine. Last inhale and exhale here, coming back to your forward fold. So start with slightly bent knees. Wave the spine long so you're not jutting out your sacrum at all. And then coming to that stretch. And from here, coming down to the mat, making your way to a seated position. And then coming on all the way to your back to Go into a resting pose. Should feel good. Uh, keep your feet about hip bone distance apart and then we'll just windshield wipe through the legs. So gentle, very gentle twist for the spine. And a great stretch for your lower body and your low back. Now we did some stretching while we were doing that flow. If there's any other stretches that you want to take, hit pause. Now is the time to do them. And then whenever you're ready, extend your legs out long, coming into your final resting pose. Settling into your Shavasana. A 
and all of the benefits of all of that twisting and all of that heat that we generated. Let you settle into a new norm for your body. Take a couple of minutes here before moving um, into the rest of your day, really uh, maximizing those benefits just by taking a couple of minutes to rest in your final rest in your Shavasana pose. I hope that you enjoyed that flow, that you found it fun, and that you get all of those benefits from the twisting. Again, it's great for your digestive system, detoxing, metabolism, everything like that. So enjoy. Definitely want to see you on the mat again next week. So make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel that we get notifications for the new videos. I also have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. Uh, link is below in the description. So make sure you check that out as well. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.